Okay, here we are. We are live in the classroom with D1 from 2016. It's going, it's going. Ah, it's going. Uh, so, uh, question one was you are you are featured by name. The arc weights of a network on a complete graph. With six bits, these are given there. That we've got the table. Apply print algorithm to the table and print it onto book. Start by crossing out the row for A and choosing an entry from the column for A. So it's telling you which, uh, which row to start with, so you have to follow that instruction. Start by crossing out the row for A. So let's actually, before we do anything else, make sure we are correctly following instructions. We're going to cross out the row for A. And I have as label the column A. That's the first column that we're looking at. So we choose the smallest number in column A, which would be 5. And we cross out the rest of that row. And we've now chosen B. Now, again, I, 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 the question didn't particularly ask you for this, did it? But I, I actually it did, didn't it? Did it say, give the, um, what did it say? Write down the arcs used in the order that they're chosen. There we go. Uh, and draw the horizontal tree. So actually, the order that they're chosen, we've just chosen the arc AB. So I'm going to write AB down. We're now looking at both of these two columns, choosing the smallest number. It would be that four. Cross out the rest of that row, label C. So that is BC. That was the second one to be chosen. We're now looking at these three <coughs> columns. Choose the smallest number, which would be that five. So that is BE. Cross out the rest of the row. E becomes the fourth one. We're looking at the labelled columns. So that is that five there is the smallest. D, E. Cross out the <coughs> row. D is the fifth one. Choose the smallest number in any of the labelled columns. That would be the eight down there. So that is C, F. Cross out the rest of the row. Label the F. So there are the arcs that we've got. All that remains is for us to transfer that information onto the diagram in the booklet. So we've got A, B. You see, if you've written this, this is the easy way of doing it, isn't it? We've got A, B, we've got B, C, B, E, D, E, and C, F. And there they are. And the question then said, draw the resulting minimum spanning tree and give its total weight. So the total weight is the sum of all of these numbers that we've circled. So what, we've got 3, 5, so that's 15 plus the 4 is 19 plus the 8 is 27. So the total weight <coughs> 27. And that's it, that was a quick five marks. That was all that we needed to do. And that's Prim's maths.